Hey guys, Jacob Howard here, and today we're gonna look at how to tune the rates on the DJI FPV drone. So first off, I wanna show you guys kinda just a little bit of uh, overview on what these rates mean. Um, so we're gonna jump into that first. If you want the rates that I use and you don't wanna watch this video and learn what these actually mean, which will help you a lot, this is what they are. Sensor, center sensitivity was 100 on all of them. Max rate is 350 on roll and pitch, 300 on yaw. And then expo is 0.25 on all of them except yaw, and yaw is 0 0.20. So you can get out of here if that's all you want to know. But if you want to learn a little bit more about this and see how they interact without having to do all the work yourself, then stick around for the rest of the video. So first off, center sensitivity. So this is basically going to control, actually let me grab the controller. This is basically going to control when you make a movement that's close to the center, how sensitive is that going to be? How quickly is that going to make a movement? Because when you're starting out or you want to get like cinematic footage, you don't want a teeny tiny movement to be doing some crazy movement um, right off the bat. So you want to have something that's just a little bit slower so you can more easily control the drone without it doing some crazy move just because you move something. Um, so then max rate. So max rate is basically going to control how much or how fast the drone can do something you tell it to do. So for example, if I go and uh, roll to the right all the way, how fast is it going to do that? I'm giving it 100% power, so is it going to do it, you know, uh, 580 degrees per second? Or is it going to do it 360, whatever that is? Um, I turned this one down. Uh, they had it at 420. I turned it down to 350 for roll and pitch and 300 for yaw. Um, the reason I turned it more down for yaw is because yaw helps you um, control your turn. So you don't want it moving faster on your yaw than your roll. You want your roll to be slightly faster than your yaw so you can get smoother turns. So that, that's the reason I turned those down. And that's going to make it a little easier to fly the drone because it won't be just going crazy fast whenever you make a movement. This basically slows down the movement the drone is doing, which is a good thing for cinematic flying or when you're beginning. So Expo is actually, there's a really cool graphic for it. And I think I'm going to uh, overlay some B-roll here of actually the DJI app for when you uh, change Expo on like a Mavic. So you guys can see more exactly what it means. But as you can see, as you change the numbers, it changes the curve on where your control uh, moves. So for example, if I roll a little bit to the right, it's going to change that input for the actual how it sends it to the drone. So if I change the expo, it could change that curve line to where it goes, you know, very dramatically from one end and then flat on the center and then to the other end. Or I can have it to where it's just a little bit smoother of like an S curve um, to where it can a little bit easier where you can make smooth movements, but still have a fast reaction from the drone. So now we're gonna jump into me actually um, flying the drone and doing the adjustments, but I wanted to give you guys the information first on what we're actually talking about, so you guys can see that first. But we definitely made a lot of changes to how this little guy flies, made it a lot better for beginners and for cinematic users. They do not allow you to do PID tuning at this time, so that won't fix a lot of the actual issues with how the drone flies, but this will help you get into it and have a little bit better experience than the uh, stock tune that they gave you. So let's jump into the video and see what we can learn. Hey guys, Jacob Howard here with FPV Unlocked and today we are going to be looking at the DJI FPV drone and we're going to be tuning it up with the RC rates that they allow you to change in this drone right now to make the flight experience a lot better. I'm not a crazy tune guy, like I don't need my FPV quads to just be the perfect tune every single time, but the tune on this thing is just absolutely terrible. I'm going to show you guys some footage of it before and after our tune and this way it will help you guys get a better experience, especially for first time flying. The tune they have on this is not good for your first time flying. So let's see what we can change in it and let's see how much better we can make this drone. You can see the default settings, so we're going to fly with those first and then we're going to adjust them to see how much better we can get the flying experience. Okay, I'm gonna take off in manual mode. It's basically we're gonna get out here. I'm gonna do some sharp turns. I'm gonna do a dive. So the big issue I have is throttle. So I'm definitely seeing a lot of lag in the throttle. It's not responding very well. For example, I'm gonna throttle up and dive. So throttle's totally cut right now. And it takes almost like 75% is what it feels like before I'm getting back up there and can actually get some, some power back into the drone. Another thing I'm noticing is my turns. So if I power forward like this and I'm just taking a turn, 
kind of sliding. It's not responding very well. Let's do some flips. A lot of prop wash. I don't think we'll be able to get the prop wash off though with just a rate change. Because this drone doesn't allow you to do PID tuning. But yeah, basically very jerky, very jerky movements. These are just normal movements I'm doing, just turns and stuff, and it just feels very jerky, way too fast. Very fast reaction on turns and stuff, which doesn't make for very good footage. Once again, definitely have an issue with throttle. So I'm gonna bring it in, change some settings, and see how it flies after that. Okay, so that tune is not very good. So that's just the basic tune. I'm going to go into the goggles right now and try to show you guys me changing it so we can see what it's really gonna look like when it's actually tuned a little bit better. Remember, this is not a PID tuning. This is not where we can really change a lot of the flight characteristics. This is where we're gonna change the rates from how it uh, interprets the controller to the drone. So it'll fly a little better, but it's still gonna have a lot of the same issues it normally would because we can't actually change the PID tuning. So let's see what we can do. So I'm going to click into my settings here. I'm going to go into settings. I'm going to go into control. Click remote controller. Move sideways to rate and expo. Then I'm going to change these settings right here. So first off I'm going to change the RC expo. I'm going to change it to 0.25 on roll and pitch. I'm going to click down again. Change this to 0.25, and then change this guy to 0.2. That's gonna help a lot with how the drone reacts. For max rate, I'm gonna turn it down to 350. 000. Except for the yaw, which I'm gonna turn down to actually 300. This means that it can only move so fast, even when you give it full input. Center sensitivity, I'm actually going to turn this one up to 250. And this one up to 250. And then we're going to see how that works on this next test flight. Okay, so now I'm in manual mode. See how it's turning. So it's turning much with much less input. It's throttling a lot better. So let's do a little dive and see how the throttle reacts. You can see throttles picking up way faster. It's probably because we changed the, the sensitivity on the center. But overall, this is flying a lot better than it was earlier. It's flying a lot smoother. The center sensitivity might be a little bit much. But yeah, it's responding to throttle more at like 50, 60% instead of the 75 right there. Okay, so that flight was much better, but it still was a little bit too sensitive for like beginners. So I think what I'm gonna do is just the center sensitivity a little bit, maybe change a few other little settings, but for the most part, this is way better than the tune it came with. Okay, so as you can see, I changed the sense center sensitivity all to 100. So we're going to do one more little flight and see if that helps the little bit of oversensitivity we had earlier. So just kind of experimenting with a few of the combinations, just see how it'll all work together. But I think the rest of the settings are pretty much golden. So we're just going to try that out right now.
Yeah, that's flying a ton better now. It's not responding near as quickly or just like knee jerk as before. This is much smoother, but the throttle still feels good. Yeah, still got better throttle control, but that center sensitivity is a little lower. So you aren't having crazy reactions as soon as you start doing a move. So yeah, this feels much better. And I guess this is the tune that I would recommend for this guy right now until they release actual PID tuning. Okay guys, so that's the rate tune I recommend for your DJI FPV drone. Once again, this is not gonna solve all the issues of prop wash or bounce back or stuff like that. This will just make it a better experience for when you're first flying FPV and when you wanna get cinematic shots with this drone or whatever. If you guys wanna learn more about this drone, I made a whole review. I'm gonna link it in the description below that I highly recommend you watch. If you enjoyed this video on FPV, we actually have an entire online course developed around these same types of lessons. We're talking dozens of lessons and hours of material designed to get you started into FPV or make you a better pilot. It is the world's first online FPV course and we have students from around the world learning through it. The link to learn more is in the comments below. And as always, if you guys have any questions, definitely let me know and have fun flying.